and get your kiss on. What's up, my quesadillas? Sorry, my eyes are kind of messed up. I bumped my head yesterday and my eyes get weird. I don't know what happened. My girlfriend left me. She said I look weird and talk funny now. So I'm kind of sad, but it's okay. Now I just have to find some more bitches, I guess. Maybe if I bump my head again, I'll get better. Oh, what's up, my quesadillas? So just like 10 minutes ago, I saw this video called I Fake My Death in Front of My Cat or something like that by the mean kitty. So credits to him, but I want to try doing that to my Shiba, see if Yui-chan reacts or anything. I honestly don't think she will, but maybe. I got to practice my acting skills anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do this. I wonder if yui Chan's smart enough to know that this is a camera and I'm just faking this, but we'll see. Oh, you want to play fetch? Sure. Uh, let's fake this death. Alright, you know what? yui chan didn't care that I died, so maybe I just didn't act good enough. So I'm about to give a Grammy-winning performance, and let's see what yui chan does. I right, want the ball? Here we go. You start licking in my mouth. Well, I guess Yui Chan cares about a ball more than me. It's evening time now. I'm just chilling, thinking of my next video. I've been on the grind recently. When you vlog, edit everything by yourself, uploading every other day is a lot of work. But it's not too bad. You just gotta really stay active. Always gotta think about the next video. You gotta film, edit, upload, and then already have the next video in mind. Film, edit, upload that, and then you gotta have another video in mind. It's super fast pace. No toothpaste. So I got this notebook where I just like write everything I gotta do for the month. This is April. I already got stuff for me. But yeah, this is just a big ass checklist of videos and like things I gotta do And now I'm just constantly writing stuff down on this I've been getting freaking productive, alright So right now I'm writing an essay for my college application I'm not very good at writing, so this is kind of hard for me I barely passed English I almost didn't graduate because of English Well, and math, astronomy But English, I was actually about to fail and not graduate Our final project was writing an essay on a book that we read during the year And this essay report, it's mandatory You fail if you don't do it so I did it. Actually, wait, this was first 
semester of senior year. We had to write an essay on the book that we read in the year. I chose Romeo and Juliet, wrote a whole essay on it, turned it in, and uh, I got an F on it. And you know why I got an F? We never read Romeo and Juliet in class. I don't know what I was thinking. I swear we read that. But nah, that was like way back in freshman year. I only chose Romeo and Juliet because that's the only book in high school that I vaguely remember the storyline of. So yeah, when that assignment got an F, I was going to fill the semester which means I'm not gonna graduate. So you know what I did on the last day of the semester? After class, I talked to the teacher and I just straight up cried to her. So she bumped it up from a zero to a 50, which was still not enough. I had an F. I turned in one late assignment and it barely bumped it up to a 60%. Whew, that was a close call. Thank you so much, Miss Fisher. And then the next semester, we had a whole six page report that every senior had to do. This is what I was talking about when I said, if you don't do this assignment, you don't graduate. So we all have to do this. We had like three months to work on this, but it was three days before the last day of school and I haven't done shit. I really don't know what I was thinking to be honest i knew i was gonna write it but i'm just i'm really bad at essays like i don't even know all i had was an outline and my friend Vic, she reads my outline realizes from the outline that i'm definitely not gonna pass this class and she straight up wrote my whole six page report thank you so much Vic. that was a close one hopefully my english teacher isn't watching this i graduated anyway i think i'm good honestly i never really gave Vic a good solid thank you so i'm gonna shout her out right now go follow Vic on instagram everyone just say in her dms her comments Thank you, Vic. I literally wouldn't have graduated if it wasn't for her. I just got some gude on, got a haircut. Not gonna show you my haircut yet. I'm gonna keep it a cliffhanger for the next vlog. Oh. But yeah, now I'm grocery shopping. I'm a growing boy. So I drink a lot of milk and eat a lot of my uncle's food and I kind of feel bad about it. So I'm gonna do some grocery shopping to make up for it. I'm also gonna start cooking. So I'm gonna buy some ingredients. I spent a lot of money going out to eat every month. I hung out with the quesadilla a couple weeks back. He was vegan and he cooks his own meals. And he showed me a chart showing how much money he saves if he just cooks every day instead of going out to eat. And the difference was like a couple hundred bucks. So I was like, that, you know, that, that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't rich. I gotta save that moolah, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna start cooking and it's healthy for you too. And I feel like I should just learn cooking now so I don't have a problem with it when I'm older, when I'm a whole ass adult. I feel like a lot of people in my generation are just not gonna know how to adult later on in life because cause they don't do shit. So I'm learning how to do shit. If you know how to do shit, it already puts you levels above the rest. So, you know? Learn to do shit. I mean, when I'm an adult, I'm not gonna be cooking. Kelly's gonna be cooking. She's gonna be cooking some bomb ass Mexican food. I'm so excited. But I'll probably cook every once in a while. It's good to know how. I don't really know what to buy though. I'm just gonna find some good looking vegetables and go with that. They got freaking acorns here. I didn't know you could eat acorns. Ooh, you know what? Potatoes. Protein. Damn, that's some big old potatoes. All right, I got some potatoes. I'm gonna get some pumpkin. This looks pretty good. All right, let's get some onions. Let's get some carrots too. Why not? Oh, wait, hold up. These carrots look big real quick. I think that's it. Oh wait, you know what? I should get some meat. Where's the meat? Oh brad, oh brad. Getting all our vitamins. What's a good meat to get? How about this meat? I don't know what this meat is, but I'm gonna just go with this. Ground pork, ground beef, whatever it is. I like them both, so I'm gonna go with this. I'm not really picky anyways. My mom taught me from an early age not to be picky, so you know, I can pretty much eat anything. I can eat food all around the world. Actually, I don't know if my mom taught me that because my brother and sister are hella picky. I'm definitely not picky though, so uh, I taught myself not to be picky. Only thing I'm picky with is my women. In fact, I'm so picky with my women that I only pick one girl in this entire world. I bought this because I thought they were magnums, but they were actually gummies. But yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can start the next one tomorrow morning. I told myself that I'll do an intro and outro in every video, so now I actually have to know when to end the video. Before, I would just like vlog. Sometimes I would end a video with an outro, but most of the time I don't even know when the video ends because, I don't know, I'm just like vlogging throughout the day normally, so I don't even have an outro and then the video just ends. So yeah, I'm actually trying to have a beginning, middle, and end now. So yeah, the vlog is done here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm uploading every other day now, so I gotta like, I gotta have some consistency, gotta have a schedule. But yeah, I'm gonna start filming the next vlog tomorrow. I also got like two other videos I'm filming right now. I'm being freaking productive. Go cop yourself some merch at k.f. Link in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I also hope you enjoyed this KSMR. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. I like pelvic bones. Shall we?